Hey guys, thanks for joining me on Neri's Kitchen. Today we have Coach Corinne in the house to share her five tips for success when doing a belly burn challenge. Thank you for having me, Neri. My five tips for success on a belly burn. Number one, keep a bottle of water beside your bed. Super important, hydrate that body the moment you wake up. 500 milliliters as soon as you get up before you get your morning going and the other 500 milliliters before you leave for work. And just like that, you've got a liter down. I actually really like that tip, Coach Kren, because 500 ml of water is actually not that much. You can easily chug it all in one chug, right? So I find it really easy to get your water just by having one bottle of 500 ml. Mm -hmm. And actually, you were sharing me another tip about the water as well, Corinne. My fun fact. <laughs> another fun fact. <laughs> fun facts. So when you actually have water before you get your body moving in the morning, it actually helps to get all of your organs moving and gets everything going nice Where and it should juicy, be, yes, right? Yes. Getting you prepped for the day. <laughs> if you know what I mean, because often in a belly burn, people say that's a problem. <laughs> So with the water, that will help you with yes. any issues if you yes. come across them. <laughs> Squeaky clean pipes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's tip number two? Tip number two is ask questions and lean on one another. Don't be afraid to ask those simple questions. You might think um, that it's an insignificant question and be too ashamed to ask, but as I've learned going through this process multiple times, you're not the only one thinking mm -hmm. that way. So really go to one another for that support and go to one another to find out because who knows who else has fun facts. <laughs> exactly, right? And it's always, and even if you assume people know the answer, it's always a good reminder just to hear it again, right? Just to yes. refresh your memory and think, oh yeah, I knew about that. I forgot to do that, right? So absolutely. Absolutely, and they're there to encourage you mm -hmm. and help push you along the way, right? We're doing this as a team exactly. and everybody wants to be successful just as much as we want for you guys to be successful. Absolutely. Tip number three, find that go-to recipe. Um, on Neri's Kitchen, I just shared a recipe of Buddha bowls. I find that one a fantastic recipe as a go-to because you can shrink down your portions as you go through the process and your MyFitnessPal changes. You can always match your macros through that whole process. And you can meal prep for a full week and be able to have a different meal every single day. Just by switching up just a few ingredients here and there. Yes, you never get bored. Exactly. Tip number four, trust the process. And this one was a hard one for me to learn, Neri. Why is that? <laughs> it was terrifying the first time I had Coach Shelly say to me, you know, Kareem, we're gonna up those calories and you're gonna start at 2462. I'm what? <laughs> 2400 calories, I'm thinking to myself, She's like putting the weight on me. Mm -hmm. I did not understand until all of a sudden week three came and things started shifting at a rapid pace. They really do know what they're talking about, right? Trust your coaches, trust the process. Don't second guess it. It's a set program to set you up for success. Yes, um, trusting the process, but also realizing that progress is not always linear. You may have some good right. days, you may have some great days, but each day is not going to be the same day. So if you have a bad day, it's not the end of the world. Progress is not linear. Absolutely, Neri. And that's what brings me to point number five. This isn't a diet. Don't treat it like this is a diet. These are tips and regimens that we are training you to get into to make a complete lifestyle change. Mm -hmm. Once you wrap your head around the fact that it's not a diet and it's a lifestyle change and you're doing this for yourself, it changes the whole game. Absolutely. And I think even just restricting the word dieting, mm -hmm. just don't say that word. No. Just say, you know, it's we're building healthier habits. And I think that would definitely change your mindset. Absolutely. All right. Well, thanks, Coach Corinne, for helping us and sharing us your five tips for success. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.